So here we go, guys. It finally came in, the Turbo Graphics Mini. Now, why did I get the Turbo Graphics Mini instead of the PC Engine Mini? I love the PC Engine. Well, I do have fond memories of the Turbo Graphics 16 as a kid. We'll talk about that here in a minute, but I tried to order it from just Amazon here domestically. At the time I tried to place my order, it was sold out. Um, I'm a regular on Amazon Japan. order a lot of shooters from there for the Switch, PS4, um, 360, etc. Uh, noticed that they had it in stock, so I ordered it from Amazon Japan. It's just coincidentally, everyone that ordered from Amazon Japan got their shipments. I'm not going to say on time, but it looks like it's a lot sooner than if you order from just Amazon here in the United States. So I, I guess you'll get yours eventually, guys. But if you want it, go to Amazon Japan and they'll ship it out to you. And that box, like I don't own an original Turbo Graphics, but there are a few retro stores in my area and they have box turbo graphics and turbo CD things like in their store. And that looks pretty close to the sun faded boxes that those places have. Um, the, the quality, it feels nice. The cardboard feels, I'm not gonna say thick, but it feels, you know, of quality. So let's talk about the memories I had with the turbo graphics as a kid. So one of my babysitters growing up, I didn't have too many babysitters, but this one babysitter, when my mom left and dropped me off, she ended up taking me to, I don't know whether we went to her boyfriend's house or we went to her, I think we went to her parents' house actually. It was on the water. They hunted for shark's teeth and they had all those shark's teeth all over the house. But the boyfriend came over and brought his Turbo Graphics. And I thought it was so cool that the games were like credit card sized games. So I played Bonk's Adventure that night for hours. Loved the system the night that I played it. Um, I actually watched a movie called Bear. I don't know if you guys remember that movie, Bear, that 80s movie where the bear eats the mushrooms and starts tripping. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but that's another fond memory I have from that uh, TurboGrafx-16 weekend. So yeah, guys, a uh, ton of games in this system. Sapphire's in there. Ninja Spirit, which is a game I never played until recently, that's in there. That's an awesome game. A um, ton of shooters. If you guys are shooter fans, this is definitely the console for you. And, you know, one thing, this thing offers Arcade Card Duo and... Well, duo and arcade card emulation. So for games like Sapphire that are on here, uh, Fatal Fury, I think is another one that you need an arcade card to actually run that. I actually, I think it's Fatal Fury, but I bought that game on the PC Engine, got it home, and it says like arcade straight on the spine. So in that arcade card is like 100, what, 120, 140 bucks. Why not just emulate it with this? Why not download full ROM sets for, you know, Japan, your, I don't know if Europe got any games, but, you know, here, here in the U.S., download all the ROM sets and play through this mini console. That's the whole point for me wanting these mini consoles. Um, you know, I don't have to obsess about collecting physical video games, and I can play them on original hardware. Um, these controllers, I don't have any turbo controllers, but I do have PC Engine controllers. These things feel pretty, pretty damn close to the PC Engine controllers that I have. Um, let's take a look at the console here. And the packaging is really nice. It sucks the uh, the manual that this thing comes with is black and white, but you know it's a minor complaint. Um, decent size console. I don't own a ton of mini consoles other than the Genesis Mini. These are the only two I have now. But this is a pretty pretty beefy console for a mini console. And you know they went for that original aesthetic. I get that. There's even that uh, that casing on the back. I forget what that casing does. That if on a regular Turbo Graphics, does that offer composite out? You know, I forget. I never owned a Turbo Graphics like this. Only a PC Engine. As a matter of fact, and I don't have it anymore. I used to have a Core Graphics 2, sold that, but I still have my uh, Duo R. There's the HDMI in. You have to run your power cable, your micro USB through the back there, which is kind of a pain in the ass. And you can see the Konami branding. Uh, apparently, Konami bought out Hudson Soft and. I guess whatever games Konami was able to license for this thing, they actually put on the console. And they got quite a bit. I mean, they got Sapphire on here. They got Bonk's Adventure. I mean, that's a Hudson game anyway. But they got a lot of cool games on here. The list of games on this mini console is more impressive than any other mini console list. And we've had some good ones. I mean, look at the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis. But anyways, guys, that's the TurboGrafx-16 Mini. Stay tuned. Live streams are coming. Till next time, guys. Peace out.